Recently, I've been talking about why I stopped spirulina and started taking chlorella instead and why I feel chlorella has more benefits and is safer. And I have a deeper in-depth discussion comparing the two, which I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. But I recently actually stumbled across a study which compared spirulina versus chlorella, which I'd like to talk about today. And the study wanted to look at which one was better, chlorella versus spirulina, for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is fairly common in the U.S. It's estimated that 25% of the population has it. So if you're someone listening, you may have it as well. And this could be something that could really benefit you. And chlorella has been shown in studies to have benefits for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But in this case, they wanted to test it against spirulina to see which one was better. And it was tested on 66 patients with a placebo group, a chlorella group, and a spirulina group. And they found that weight significantly decreased in both intervention groups, chlorella and spirulina. And I did a previous episode on some weight loss results for chlorella and some studies which showed some significant weight loss with chlorella. And this is really good for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease because that's basically an excess of fat that's being built up in the liver. So any kind of weight loss is good. And I'll leave a link to, the, to that video as well with those studies. And chlorella can really help with weight loss. And they found that a marker for liver inflammation decreased in both intervention groups but when they compared the two intervention groups, chlorella and spirulina, against each other, they concluded, they said, the results of this research indicated that chlorella vulgaris supplementation could decrease weight and improve lipid profile and liver function in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease more than spirulina supplementation. So they found that chlorella was better and more beneficial in this case. And that's what I've been saying. I feel like it is a better supplement. It's also safer than spirulina. And you don't have some of the B12 analog concerns as well. Chlorella has actually had studies where it has active B12, which is raised B12 levels in those taking it which is a great thing. So hopefully this chlorella versus spirulina study was useful to you. I'll leave links down in the description if you'd like to check the study out for yourself. Although it only links to the first page with the results. If you wanna get the data, you have to get access to it.